welcome back. So it's been so long, I feel, um, that I haven't filmed. It's probably been, well, well over a week because obviously we moved and it's just really good to be back. Uh, I know I'm probably being dramatic, like some people probably take a month off. And so I thought that I would finally get on here and sh share with you some of my August favorites. Totally moved. We're, we have so much crap that we still have to do. And then I was going to film yesterday, but then we were at the car dealership from 10 a.m. to 5. I'm obsessed with it. I got a minivan, I have to tell you. From driving from an SUV to a minivan, it's amazing. Like, I totally get it. I totally get it. So let's start out with my most used. And that is something, this is kind of awkward, but um, I get a Brazilian wax every three to four weeks and it's totally worth it. I would recommend it to anybody. The first is basically torture. The first time you go is torture. It's torture. I have to tell you, I almost cried. But now I can like text while they do it. And that has completely saved my life after probably the first couple of days when you're really sore and sensitive is the Ingrown Hair Serum. That's what it looks like. It has tea tree oil in it so it heals. But if you have a European wax center close to you, which I know they're like all over the United States, I would really recommend, and obviously maybe Europe, right? I would totally recommend this because it's a lifesaver. Even if you don't wax and you shave and you get ingrown hairs, if you're prone to getting ingrown hairs, which I'm really not, but every once in a while I'll get like a little ingrown hair and I'll put this on and it, within hours it's gone. I'm not joking, within hours. So I swear by this stuff, I think it's like $20. It's not even that expensive and I absolutely love it. This product is the Kenra Platinum Silkening Mist. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells like green apples. What I love about this stuff is that it's, um, you can seriously spray it all over your hair and it leaves it very um, shiny but not oily. Oil sprays or shine sprays, they have a tendency, like if you overdo it, your hair looks really oily. That is not how it is with this product. It almost has a very, very extremely light hold but not crunchy, but then leaves your hair very shiny and just like silky. So, and on top of that, it smells like freaking green apples. <sighs> Where by this product, I've used it for it's probably been four or five months. And this is my second one. It's the Colleen Rothschild Age Renewal Super Serum. Amazing. It plumps up your skin. It has a light hydration to it. It leaves your skin super soft. And right now it's 25% off. Friends and family, I think through the 31st. So you get this at 25% off and it's amazing. Kind of another random product, but I've been burning this constantly. It is the Scentsy Jumping Jelly Bean Scent. And it kind of smells like a mix between fruit punch and like cleanliness. Like it's not overly sweet where it's gonna give you a headache, but it's not like overly like clean scent. I've been burning this in my kitchen. Um, I leave it in here. I have like a Scentsy plug-in in every one of my rooms and I absolutely freaking love this scent. Dying over this combination. I've been wearing it every single freaking day. I'll probably talk about it in my updates video again just to touch on it in case they people don't watch like my favorites videos. The Stila Perfectly Poreless Putty Perfector. I put this on first as kind of a base or a primer just to even out my skin tone. It's amazing. And then I add this, which is the MAC Lightful C Tinted Cream. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. You can even use them in reverse. Like you could use this first and put this as, as like a powder on top and just dust it with a fluffy brush. It looks your skin looks amazing. Not only does it look poreless and even, but it also has um, some luminosity and radiance to it because of this product. So uh, like my go-to foundation routine, I did a demo, so I'll link it below in case you didn't watch it. Now, this has been my go-to highlighter all month and it's MAC Soft and Gentle. It's extremely smooth and it goes on. It really kind of plumps up your cheeks to where they look very, I feel like it looks very youthful, very plumping, and what I like to wear underneath this is the Paracone No Highlighter Highlighter. And if you layer the two, like you have like a bang and highlight all day that lasts all day. So <clears throat> this is great. I know that MAC MFSS, <laughs> MFSS, oh my gosh, MFS. I know that MAC MSFs are 
hit or miss. Like sometimes they're really chunky and they don't add a lot of pigmentation and other times they are just really smooth and gorgeous and it's exactly what you've been waiting for all your whole life. That is kind of what this does. Let's talk about what is on my eyes because I can't get enough. My first product is probably my absolute favorite taupey purple burgundy brown shade I have ever used in my life because it's kind of a chameleon shade so if you wear it with taupes it'll look more taupe. If you wear it with warm browns it looks more warm brown. If you wear it with burgundies it looks more of like this dusty rose pink. It's phenomenal and I'm I'm so hesitant because I'm afraid that they've discontinued it, which I don't think they have. I think you can still get it at Saks, but I'll put the link below. It is Le Metier's Corinthian. Such an amazing, stunning taupe color. Um, I It's smooth. It's pigmented. I'm wearing it on my lids today, and it's stunning. I really, really love this shade. I don't wear it enough, and since I've been wearing this this month, I've been trying out different looks with this product, and it looks great. So this is like a $30 product and a $10 product. This is the e.l.f. Made for Matte um, palette, and I've been wearing it. Like, this is like the only palette that I've been wearing all month. So today I wore this shade in the crease, and then um, I kind of mixed, no, I'm sorry, I wore this kind of like dusty rose in the crease, and then I mixed these two, which is like a warm, orange color and then this like taupey gray so nice and these blend this is another one of my favorites and i love this this is like a ten dollar gem every day is this bronzer palette i cannot get enough it just has some mattes it has just one uh sparkly shade right here but the rest of these are gorgeous they're beautiful matte colors i think this would be suitable for light to medium skin tones and it blends like a dream. It goes on really nicely. It just highlights the face. I love this. Love it. I don't talk about these much. It's the Estee Lauder Pure Envy colors and Impulsive. It's what I'm wearing today. It's like this nude um, rose pink shade and it's gorgeous. It has a lot of pigmentation to it and it, it's just a really nice neutral pink color. That's, that's the best way that I can describe it. It's just a very pretty neutral pinky color that looks good with any type of look that you're wanting. And then this combination, you guys, is stunning. And I've been wearing it all month. It's the Whorl Lip Liner from MAC. Uh, we all know it, so I'm not even going to pretend that nobody does. It's this shade right here. And then I've been using Faux over it, and I love it. It looks so good together. That's Faux. That is Whirl, and they make a great combination. So if you have these two, try them out together. Let me know what you think. It's so good to see you. Like, it's so good to just, I don't know, talk to you and hang out. Um, I promise we will have, I will have more consistent videos until like the second week in um, September because we're kind of just taking a quick vacation. Uh, <laughs> just kind of like a quick vacation as a family because we haven't taken one in a long time but I'll try to vlog it I think it might be fun I like when people vlog like their vacations so maybe I'll just take you on vacation with me and you can see my crazy kids in action so um, I love you all and I will see you next time bye